So here's one of the lesser known facts of World War II. This is a Blenheim that was designed for use by leprechauns. You see, the RS manpower shortage became so acute during the war that uh, they were actually compelled to recruit leprechauns. And uh, this is a Blenheim that was built for use by these leprechauns. There's a, well, a normal sized Blenheim there, Blenheim Mark 1, undergoing restoration. And uh, right there, what uh, P-51 Mustang and a couple of Spitfires. And, uh, oh, more Spitfires over there, and uh, a new poor, new, new poor D7. Ah, yeah, new poor 17 from the First World War. Yeah, flown by all the top uh, French pilots. Yeah, uh, well, one thing, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the French national marking is actually the symbol that the French revolutionaries carried in their, in their hats, and it, uh, what, uh, it was adopted as a national marking by the French Air Force in 1912. In 1914, the British Air Force uh, required a new national marking for their aircraft as they felt that the uh, Union Jacks that they had hitherto been using were too similar to the German Cross. So what they did was they just uh, adopted the French marking and reversed the colours. Yeah, that uh, spit has got uh, the D-Day inv invasion stripes on it. There's uh, well, a, sw a Swedish registered fairy firefly. And the fairy gannet. I can mind them flying out of... Uh, I left Lossiemouth when I was a kid, and uh, the old classic, the Buccaneer, which I saw us right up until uh, the first Gulf War. And this uh, is uh, yep, Armstrong with a Seahawk. Yeah, carrier base plane that saw service during the uh, Suez Crisis, and uh, well. I always associate it with this uh, film with David Tomlinson that I once saw, uh, I think it was called Further Up the Creek. What happens is that uh, Mr. Tomlinson, uh, well he was an actor who was to naval officers what uh, Will Hay was to schoolmasters. In the film he's shown some sea scouts uh, round one of these planes and he's shown them the cockpit and one of the sea scouts gets them to inadvertently turn the, turn the plane's engine on. And there's a parade of wrens uh, just standing behind the plane, and uh, the backwash from the jet engine puts the uniforms off the wrens, uh, leaving them in their, in their undies. And I think that would have been almost pornographic in the 1950s. And another Sea Vixen, you know, developed from the DH110 experimental plane. Classic 50s aircraft that uh, was in service until the uh, 1970s. There's a Sea Venom. Yeah, well, developed from the, the, the Havland, uh, the Havland Sea Vampire. Well, uh, Ven Venom and the Vampire, well, Venom was just a more refined version of the Vampire. Well, because there were a few differences. Yeah, the Vampire was a Second World War design and uh, I suppose you could say this was uh, an upgrading of the design. There's a Western Wasp that was used in the Falklands. You have to make sure